Hello everyone, I'm the Pink Dahlia and this monster is Ian Huntley. In Swarm at around about quarter past six on the 4th of August 2002, 10 year old Holly Wells and Jessica Chapman decided to leave their family barbecue to go to a local sports complex to buy some sweets from a vending machine. The two best friends wore these very distinct Manchester United football tops. Neither of the girls told Holly's parents who were hosting the barbecue that they were leaving. Somewhere between 8 and 8.30, Holly's mom went up to her bedroom to ask the girls to come down to say goodbye to some guests that were leaving the barbecue, but when she got upstairs, all she was met with was an empty room. She and her husband had a look around the house and throughout the streets to try and find the girls, but they were nowhere to be seen. Jessica's mom tried ringing her phone, but it was switched off. It was at 9.55 p.m. when the girls were officially reported missing to the police. It took the police 35 minutes to arrive at the scene and they then started a search. At around 10.35 p.m., people who were joining in the search bumped into Ian Huntley on the street. They stopped and asked Ian if he had seen any of the girls and he said that he hadn't seen them at all. Ian began to assist in the search and it was many hours later that he told two firefighters that he had in fact seen the girls at approximately 6.30 that night. This made Ian the last person to see Holly and Jessica. After speaking with the police, Ian was able to give the police an alibi. He was at home all night with his girlfriend Maxine Carr. Maxine corroborated this for him and she also happened to be the girls teaching assistant at their school. Ian really inserted himself into the investigation of the girls. He would participate in many searches, he would question the police on the progress of the case and he was interviewed many times as he was the last person to see the girls alive. Ian had done so many interviews with some of the UK's biggest news outlets that he kind of became a spokesman for the community. Maxine also had done some interviews where she spoke very nicely of the girls, saying how much she liked them. She also showed off this card that Holly had given at the end of term as a thank you for being such a good teaching assistant. This is a bit of a close-up. When talking about Holly, Maxine was quoted saying, she was just lovely really lovely. Maxine spoke of the girls in the past tense and this is when the police's suspicion began to rise. Everything that Maxine and Ian were telling the police were just cold lies. Sorry I've begun to run out of time but go and check out part two which is uploaded right now.